one of our first kind of like general questions we have for you guys is how is sound important in video games? That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, we can get into the nitty gritty, but kind of like in general, why would it be so important to have like sound? Well, I think um, one, I guess, more obvious, um, obvious thing is that sound does help give games direction. Um, I, visuals are definitely very important, but once visuals and sound work together, then I feel like a player can uh, understand the task much better. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and that, and I think that uh, playing a game with no sound is just not as enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with that. I feel like sound kind of helps cue the player. It kind of lets you know if you're going in the right direction, um, lets you know if you're like on the right path, or even like if you're going in the wrong direction, or maybe if something big is coming up. Like yeah. in a lot of video games, like um, the theme changes if there's like a big boss battle coming oh, yeah. up, and it kind of gives you that that auditory cue to like prepare yourself. Oh my mm. gosh! Yeah, my favorite part. It, like the thing you just talked about, one of my favorite games, Shadow of the Colossus, fantastic game, PS4, PS3. Uh, when when you begin to like succeed, the music just changes. Like that dynamic music system is awesome, and it's just like yes. <laughs> the music is important to me because it's just another dimension to video games that you just think of. Because then you can remember when you were fighting this ancient boss, or just maybe grinding. But then uh, you'll think back. Uh, so much later and then like my memories usually tend to go towards the noise that helped capture every single detail that happened mm -hmm. just I don't know even through uh, say Pokemon Diamond and Pearl I still remember <laughs> yes. I still remember <laughs> Cynthia's theme and I remember being terrified because I'd never seen a spirit tomb and <laughs> I <sighs> um, but do you guys have any well let's see let's narrow down the question what's your favorite genre to write and what's your favorite genre to play mm -hmm. So I think my favorite genre to write would probably be like ballads and stuff. Those are my favorite. And I think my favorite to play, I think, um, I, I was just, I was a born and raised band kid. I have to say marches. <laughs> <laughs> John Philip <laughs> Sousa is my patron. <laughs> so that's what I was raised with. I think I'll have to go with marches or some sort of like, some sort of dances. Um, I think I think for me when it comes to when it comes to music um, I mean I kind of I like pretty much everything yeah. <laughs> for the most part I mean I, I think that if it's good it's good no matter what genre it's in but for I, I have to say my preference probably lies more within rock yeah <laughs> um, generally generally heavier I, I will admit I am a metalhead <laughs> nice. um, and I think if I when I when I do um, come up with music on um, on my guitar and or the drums it usually is that genre um, mm -hmm. so I think writing and playing the it's kind of my favorite genre in general to mess around with yeah awesome it's always good to have variety you can't <laughs> I get tired if I just listen to the same stuff over and over mm -hmm. so yeah yeah um, I usually like to write kind of I, I guess I would say kind of classical. I don't know. Maybe it's more contemporary. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm still kind of finding my voice in what I like to write. Um, what I like to play, um, I, I definitely agree with the marching band music. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's great. Yeah, I, I used to be in drumline in high school, oh, which man. was like one of the best things I've ever done. Um, so okay, just, just quick question, sidebar. Did you ever watch the really silly movie, the the drumline movie, the one that everyone hates? Yeah. <laughs> Is that with uh, what's his face? I forgot, but it's the one that literally, if you talk to any marching band kid, they're like, "Oh yeah, that movie sucks." <laughs> it's the one where the kid doesn't know how to read music, but like he learns how to play by ear. Hmm. Wasn't that Nick Cannon? I think yeah, that was. Yeah. Nick it was. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I anyways, it was pretty, <laughs> awful. <laughs> pretty awful. <laughs> we went on a little tangent, but. <laughs> I think I forgot the question now. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite music to write and what's your favorite music to play? Okay. Uh, that's a bit hard for me because then I consider playing different from improvising. Because mm. I, I like to improvise different things 
than what I like to play. But in terms of listening, I guess I like to listen to cocktail jazz and video game music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In terms of writing, probably a mix of contemporary and video game music. Mm -hmm. Cocktail jazz. Yeah. Cocktail jazz. I've <laughs> never heard of that <laughs> before. Is it like what? What's it? Is it like noir? Or is it like? Uh... It's like imagine cosmo cosmopolitan New York. You're up. Uh, in a bar or something like that, and then like you're having a nice martini as like someone is just waiting. <laughs> you can imagine, imagine oh, the man. piano just in the back, like just going very light, and then like da 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 da, da and, you know. I don't know. That was I a very good yeah. picture. Oh, does, that, does that help? It's like. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I, I think I could. It's just I've never heard of that. Huh. I want to. I want to also learn how to how to improvise it. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm reading a couple books at the moment that help me with it. Improvising, impro, improv, <laughs> <laughs> improvising piano. Yeah, you can. Okay. So, uh, a lot of it's just like arpeggios, which I need to like get my fingers. So oh, a bit yeah, better. yeah, okay, yeah. Um, arpeggios and scales are like my biggest weakness. <laughs> They're fun if you can get your fingers to do that, but uh -huh. unfortunately, that's been gifted mostly to my left hand. You see, um, with French horn, we have three buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so it's easy. <laughs> four if you're lucky, and you get a double four. Mm. Well. Let's see. I want to add in some nines in there too, mm. just as just because my hands can. But wow. um, okay, I covered listening, writing, <laughs> and then in terms of playing, <laughs> in terms of playing, I loved I loved to play particularly with the old style Mario music, the ragtime. Oh, that I stuff's loved, super fun. I loved playing that. Uh, Athletic Theme was one of them. Super Mario War Two, one of my favorite games of all time just because it was also my first. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of improvising, I like jazz and contemporary. Cool. I'm, I'm sorry, I've, oh, and blues. Blues, yeah. I'm sorry, that's long. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's good. It's all good stuff, it's all good stuff. All right, so the next question, um, let's see. So what's kind of the creative process for when you're making sound effects or if you're writing a composition? Um, oh, I think, for me, when I'm creating or I'm assigned a, a task for a certain sound effect, um, for instance, like within Seed, um, I generally just do a lot of experimenting. <laughs> um, it's mainly, you know, obviously I have the, the theme in mind, like uh, like I was stating before, um, when, when matching a sound to Seed. So obviously, it, it, you know, I know that has to fall within a certain scope, um, for instance, like that maybe more tribal aspect. Uh, but also do like a good deal of research. So mm -hmm. I might look at other games um, that have um, like a like the similar sound. Like um, for instance, in Seed, when you have the Tali coming out of the portal, that are, I guess it's labeled the incoming wave. So mm -hmm. I like there might be you know there are other games that have a similar not the same sound, but there needs to be a sound that um, yeah like some sort of similar signals concert. that yeah. yeah yeah. So I may I may go and look at that. Uh, I may listen to what other people have created, um, and just kind of get an idea and then play around with different samples um, and maybe even some live recordings of something that I think sounds good.